up foods how's it going and welcome to another tutorial thursday Pity. and today we're going to talk about how to operate a multi-camera setup let's begin My name is Phil Flock, hope you're doing well. And today I'm gonna to share some tips and tricks for you how you can use three cameras or more cameras and why you would do it. So why? Why would anyone shoot with three cameras instead of one? Because when you shoot with three cameras, you have, first of all, the continuity. You don't have to shoot a scene multiple times and then you risk that somebody's talking like this into the camera and from the other angle he's going to talk like this uh, to, uh, to the camera and then it's going to look weird when you inner cut. You know what I'm saying? So that's reason number one, continuity. But what else? You save a lot of time. When you shoot a scene multiple times over and over from different angles, every time when a scene is 10 minutes long, it's going to take 10 minutes for every angle to shoot. Unless you have three cameras, then you shoot three angles in 10 minutes. This is how TV shows are shot. Like any sitcom you can think of are shot with nine or more cameras at the same time. So the actors don't have to do it over and over. You save a lot of time, the continuity is great, and you save a lot of time in post. Because when you edit a multicam setup, you, all you do have to do is synchronize all the footage, and then when you actually, you just watch, the footage, you see all the screens at the same time and you then, then you just click. One for camera one, two for camera two, three com for camera three on your keyboard. And while you do that, while you watch it and click all those buttons, the edit happens automatically. So these are the benefits of shooting a multi-camera setup. There's a few downsides. For example, you could shoot another camera by accident. When you shoot this angle and this angle, there could be other cameras in your shot and you obviously don't want this. So this is something to look out for and also you're a little limited when it comes to your camera angles and this is like a big downside that really depends on the kind of shoot you have. Sometimes it's even okay to have cameras in the shot because this is the purpose of the video. If it's like a behind the scenes thing, then it's okay to have cameras in your shot. But if it's like a movie, a skit or a short film, you don't want any cameras or crew in the shot. So then it becomes complicated, especially, especially if you're only one camera operator operating all of them at the same time and you have to walk from camera to camera to check if the footage is all right, if it accidentally stopped recording or the battery ran out, you have to do that running from camera to camera, which can be very exhausting and stressful. Being in charge of one camera is already very stressful. Believe me, like three cameras. On the other hand, you always have a backup camera in case something goes wrong, which is, which is nice. Let's talk about audio real quick. Obviously, if you have three cameras, you can record with three audio sources, which I would take advantage of if you can. With this camera, I'm recording through the wireless Rode mic into like right here. I have a wireless mic right here. This one has a shotgun mic on top, okay? And that one has no mic on top. But let's say I talk to this camera and I'm like nervous. I'm scratching my neck and you, you hear that my sound is terrible, but then I can just use this sound instead because I messed up here. So I can just use this sound from this camera. So even though I am touching this and it sounds terrible, you can use this audio to save the sound. And if both of them fail, you still can use this sound, which is not great. It's very echoey, it's very far away, but it works. It's still there. Having something is better than not having anything. Let me just show you what I'm pointing at so you have a better idea. This is my camera. This is the Rode mic, um, the wireless mic. This is a shotgun mic. And this has no mic. So this is my setup here. Okay, a few extra tips when it comes to the cameras. If you can, it's always great to have the same camera brand. To have three FX3s would be great, uh, but it's very expensive. No, nobody can afford that. So I have right now, I have the FX3, the Sony 7S3, the Sony 7 III. So but all those three cameras are very similar. So I'm fortunate. To, so it's going to be easier to have the same looks on all of them. All of them shoot an S-Log3 right now, so it's the same color profile, which is always helpful. All of them have a shutter speed of 1 50th and an S-Stop of 2.8. And those two cameras have an ISO of 640 
This one, unfortunately, can shoot in 640. This one is on 800. So in post, I will need to decrease the brightness on this camera a little bit. But if you don't have three huge as Sony cameras at home, but maybe you and your friends, all of you guys have an iPhone, you can do the same thing. Shoot in the same time. And then in post, you're gonna have a way easier shoot. Three cameras in the same time. And it's way easier if you don't have enough people available, put the cameras on tripods like I did. But if you have three camera operators or people who can hold the camera available, just shoot in the same time. And then, then in post, you can just edit way faster, no continuity issues, and the edit is gonna be way faster, and the shoot is gonna be way faster too. One little tip, when it comes to audio syncing, it's always helpful to have a slate, uh, like I have there in the background. Write something on it, something like infant cinema production, day two, scene one, take five. You see those thumbnails and it's way easier to organize your footage and then just slate it, then you can synchronize the footage in post. These days you can just click on right click and synchronize, but it never hurts to actually have one slate because then you see it visually and you hear it in case the, the audio is messed up. So it's always a good idea to clap the slate for the synchronization in post. If you're more interested in how to edit a multi-camera setup, I could make a separate video for that, but only if this one gets more than 100 likes. Otherwise, I won't. So it's up to you guys. A few examples where I use three camera setups right now. Buttons of the week. We've got a talk series. I think he's gay skit. She's out of your league in space. I also use a two camera setup for that. And I would use it for interviews and concert because you can't shoot a concert without multiple cameras. Impossible. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and have a great tutorial Thursday. Titty. <laughs>